so in this video i will try to solve the first example from slide and this is simple rl circuit energized by this voltage source and a switching operation occurs this switch closes at the time t equals to zero and we are, we are asked to find out current as a function of time so i will go systematically and we have done parts of work here and the first approach was to find out time constant and time constant is l over r equivalent for this simple circuit r equivalent is really this see this resistance 10 so it will be 0 0.01 over 10 and 1 by tau will become 1000 and as we know we have to apply our transient solutions as a e to the power minus t by tau and our transient solution becomes a e to the power minus 1000 t and we have to find out our steady state solution by doing phasor and phasor solution you know, to solve phasor solution we have to take all these elements into frequency domain and that becomes 1 to 0 root 2 angle of 15 over 10 plus j omega l and the answer turns out to be 12 angle of negative 30 degree and our steady state solution comes out 12 sine of 1000 t minus 30 degree this was our first two part we are going through as the same procedure as described in the working rule now complete solution as we have seen in the working rule complete solution of current as a function of time will be the transient solution plus a steady state solution what was the transient solution our transient solution was a e to the power minus thousand t and our steady state solution was 12 sine of thousand t minus 30 degree and now comes the fourth part and most critical part we have to evaluate the value of arbitrary constant a by solving boundary condition now see uh, boundary conditions are really on the moment you do the switching operations before the switching operation this circuit was open really so no current was flowing through across the inductor and as we can we know so current before switching i of 0 minus will be 0 and as we all know that inductor current cannot change abruptly so i of 0 plus will be 0 also that's our boundary condition now we'll put time uh, equals to 0 in our complete solution and it will come out to be i putting time value 0 a e to the power 0 plus 12 sine of 0 minus 3 degree or that equals to a plus 12 sine of negative 3 degree and that value has to equal to this zero value if it has to be the complete solution so it turns out a equals to 12 into sine 30 degree and a value becomes simply 6 so what will be our complete solution now our complete solution and answer to this problem will be a e to the power minus thousand t s value is 6 6 e to the power minus thousand t plus 12 sine of thousand t minus 30 degree this will be our full complete solution and the answer to our problem see how systematically we have solved this problem first find out time constant then find out the phase solution then assign your complete solution as tangent solution plus phase solution and then use boundary condition to find out the constant value and that's the answer